I'm gonna fucking do it. Well, we just flipped the goddamn truck. Guess I better fucking climb out now. <laughs> Just here to remind you, it doesn't matter what you look like because you're just a skin suit and we're all gonna die. So, eat what you want, bitch. I think you're too far from the ball. <laughs> oh, oh man. Yeah. So this is a mirror. I thought it was a room. I'm gonna prank my buddy with this. What, what's left? That room on the right. What the fuck? Here it is. Baby boomers are upset with millennials, but they really think they're Gen Z. Millennials are upset with Gen Z because all the shit that Gen Z's doing is getting blamed on millennials. Millennials have had it out for the boomers since the 90s. Gen Z also now has it out for the boomers, but Gen Z also calls everybody else boomers too. There's some millennials who have it out for Gen X because they think Gen X is the baby boomers. But if you look at this, the only one not really going after anybody is Gen X. Gen X, please save us. You wanna say hi? No, I don't kiss it. Say hi. Say hi. Good girl. No, don't move. Don't move. Now we're gonna take a picture. Ready? Take a picture. Ready? Don't move. Close your mouth. Check. <laughs> there we go. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. We're gonna take a picture. Don't move. Good girl. Good job. Can we take you in water? I think we're, I think we're fine. <laughs> we're oh, oh my god. Go down. Go down. <laughs> no! It has never poked me in the eye. No! I don't take it out to sleep. No! I cannot see it unless I think about it like I'm doing right now. Oh, <laughs> I asked my girlfriend what she would do if I won the lottery. She said I'd take half and leave. I said, okay, I won 20 bucks. Here's 10. Keep in touch. That's how the fight started. Just some friendly advice to the boys working on the ground. If you ever start running your mouth to one of the swampers, watch out. It's going to be kind of hard to go back to work with your pouch hanging off the crane. <laughs> These are big juice boxes. No, they're not. They're adult sized juice boxes. Oh my god. Honey. They just don't come with straws. I asked my girlfriend what she would do if I won the lottery. She said I'd take half and leave. I said, okay, I won 20 bucks. Here's 10. Keep in touch. That's how the fight started. Hey Bryce, the floor is lava. The floor is lava. Huh? The floor is lava. Oh, come on. <laughs> the floor is lava. Oh no. <laughs> Bryce? I couldn't the floor know is lava. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? You actually did it. That looks awful. <laughs> Are you getting hamburger? I see a bunch of people posting Rich Kid Check. I think that's pretty lame. I want to see people starting a business. So we can start the new trend as business check or hustle check. Let's do it.
Ollie. Aw, Tyler. Oh, darn it. You put your shirt on. I prefer that if in this house we wear no clothes. This is a no clothes home. No! Show, show them that. It's $500. Okay, good. But look at how cool it is. How lighting affects how my eyes look. Here you can clearly see that they are different colors. If I turn this way, it's a little bit harder to tell that you can still see they're different colors. However, if I turn this way, like where'd it go, man? What? Ah. <laughs> this is mine. You might think your girlfriend's as pretty as mine, but she's not. Nobody heard. No. Everybody farts, Blaze. Oh my gosh! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, oh my god! Good call someone. I can't even like believe you sometimes. What? You're like my mom. Look at you. Alright, so apparently this is the new trend on TikTok. You kick in the door into the bathroom. You have something really cool. Did it work? Are we TikTok famous? I don't know. We'll post it. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Caterpillars dance when you yell. Watch. I love everything. Fire spreading all around my room. My world's so bright. It's hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush. Dialing me. No, I'm not. Damn, I could have swore that ass was calling me. <laughs> Quay. <laughs> Sloppy one right there. Mm, look at that. Oh, yeah. Hey, Sam. Oh, you're so cute. Oh. <laughs> okay, so you want to buy a new car. You have $30,000. You go buy it? No. You put that $30,000 in a CD. Then you go back to the same bank, take out a loan for $30,000 using your CD as collateral. So your CD is going to pay you 4%. Loan, you're going to pay 6%. You're going to pay about seven oh four fifty five a month for four years. If you look at it for a loan, you have to pay the bank an extra $3,818. But with the CD, they're going to pay you $5,096. You're actually going to make money on this transaction from the bank and you're gonna have your brand new car. Check it out. So a trucker just said to me, man, trucker, you're meticulous about tarping your load. With all that attention to detail, how are you making any money? And I said to him, are you married? He said, yes. I said, does your wife drive on the roads? He said, yes. I said, that's why I'm meticulous. I care about my job care about safety first and I care about the public so if I'm not meticulous about how I tarp my load and how I protect my load I'm not only putting my life in jeopardy 
but I'm putting your wife life in jeopardy and all the other wives and children and adults that drive on the road in jeopardy. That's why I'm meticulous about my load. You truckers be safe out there and make sure you secure your load.